Hello, friends. I'm excited to get back into the book of Revelation, which we learned last week promises a blessing for those who read it and keep it. We learned that from the first three verses, which are the prologue. Today, we're going to look at the next four verses, which begin with a greeting from the Apostle John in the name of the triune God. Beginning with verse 4, we read this. John, to the seven churches that are in Asia, grace to you and peace from him who is and who was and who is to come, and from the seven spirits who are before his throne. Notice the number seven occurs two times in the greeting. That's important. We need to think about what those two sevens mean for the greeting we are reading. And we should realize from the, that from the very start of this book, the number seven is going to play an important role in the whole book. As I said last week, the number seven takes us all the way back to the beginning of the Bible. God created the heavens and the earth in six days, and he rested on the seventh day. Therefore, the number seven represents completion, perfection. So when John mentions seven churches, he's not only greeting churches that existed at the time he recorded the book of Revelation, he's greeting all churches, the complete number of churches. And when he mentions the seven spirits, he is referring to the full work of the Holy Spirit in those churches. Now, with that in mind, what I want you to notice next is that John mentions the two advents of Jesus. In verse 5, he says concerning Jesus that Jesus is the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead, and the ruler of the kings on earth, to him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood. That verse is about Jesus' first advent. He came and lived and died for us. And then in verse 7, we read, quote, Behold, he is coming with the clouds, and every eye will see him, even those who pierced him, and all tribes of the earth will wail on account of him. Even so. Amen. That verse is clearly about the second advent of Jesus. Just like the number seven plays an important role in this book, so do the two advents of Jesus. Specifically, this book is constantly going to be showing us what will occur between the two advents of Jesus. With that in mind, I want to give you a diagram. The diagram shows us what we're seeing in this greeting. John is greeting the complete number of churches that will exist between the two advents of Jesus. The seven churches equal all the churches. And those churches will be established, strengthened, and empowered by the full work of the Holy Spirit as they wait for Jesus, who is their victorious Savior. We hear the words of our victorious Savior in verse 8. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. Those are glorious, confident words from our Savior. So, dear friends, this greeting should encourage us greatly, which is exactly what the book of Revelation was written to do. This book wasn't written to scare us. It was written to encourage us and to keep us standing firm in the faith. Right from the greeting, we hear that Jesus is victorious. He's coming again. His spirit is with us. We're on the winning team. Meditate on that this week. And join me again next week. Thank you.